Hey yo, what it do? It's your boy J Lou, and you guys are just in time for something new. In this video, what I want to talk about, fall is finally here. I don't know about you guys, but I know down in Texas and Houston, it's finally starting to get cool. And one of the reasons as a waiver that I like the fall time and winter is simply because it's a lot easier to wolf. This is what we call wolfing season. The reason why is because in, during the summers, your hair will frizz up a lot more, but in the winter time, your hair doesn't frizz up that much, you know? So it's easier to lay your hair down, especially if you use a light, uh, a light butter. A lot of times in the summertime, you may have to use a heavy pomade to keep your wolf laid down. And plus, because it's hot, you really don't want to be putting heavy products in anyway. But in the winters, you could probably use a light butter and it'll still hold your hair down as if you had a heavy pomade. You know what I'm saying? So what I want to focus on to prepare for wolfing season is basically combing. Combing is very slept upon when it comes into waving. A lot of times when you ask a waver, you'll be like, Hey yo, man, how do I get waves? Man, I see you spinning over there. Man, you gotta brush your hair, man. You gotta pick up a brush. You gotta buy a brush, man. Make sure you brush your hair. All right, man, I'm gonna go get a brush. That's typically how the conversation go. People never mention anything about angles. They never mention anything about using a mirror. They don't mention anything about a crown. They don't mention anything about combing. And then when you get invited to the wave pages, they start trying to clown you because you think your waves is all there. And they be like, well, dude, you ain't even got a crown, bro. This video, I'm going to help out the beginners. I'm going to make sure that y'all know what y'all need to do if you want to join me in this wolfing season. This video will cover more so combs. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump straight into it. All right, so the type of comb that you want to use, I always use a wide tooth comb. As you can see, the teeth are spaced a lot more than this side. This is what they call the teaser portion of the comb. Is is real good for uh, to pull your hair, but this side is, is, is better to detangle your hair, you know? So I always, no matter what stage I'm in, unless I'm at a fresh cut, I use the wide tooth portion of a comb. Now, when I get more into a heavier wolf, what I'll typically, I mean, when I start getting to the beginning stages of my wolf, what I'll start doing is I'll use the detangling portion of the comb and then I'll use the teaser portion following up. Now, the next comb I wanna mention, this is something that I learned about this comb from one of Nick Wavy YouTubes, you know, so big shout outs to him. But this comb right here is a tool structure. It's the similar concept of a teaser comb, but as you can see, it has a little bit of a wide tooth comb and then a teaser portion of fine tooth comb. This comb right here has amazing pull, but don't let the teeth fool you. They are red for a reason. If you use this comb too fast or at the wrong angle, you can cut or pierce your scalp. Man, I remember the first time I got this comb, Nick Wavy gave me that warning saying, hey, this is the world deadliest weapon. I didn't believe him. I went to comb my hair. I stuck my head and I was bleeding. Couldn't brush right there. Couldn't comb right there for a little while until my skin held up. So yeah, so when you're using this comb, you definitely want to take your time and make sure you comb it at the right angle. I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering, when should I use a comb? When I start using combs, it's typically, I always keep my hair around a 2, 2.5. If I cut my hair to a 2.5, I can use a comb right then and there. If I cut my hair at a 2, I usually wait a week or two just to start using a comb because I want my hair to be at that length where it's thick. Combs are beneficial when your hair is thicker because what it does is it gets down to the roots of your hair to be able to train and line up your connections. On a low cut, you really don't need to use a comb because your brush you can use your brush to train your hair and align your connections up but as your hair grows it gets thicker and it gets harder to reach down with the grit with the bristles of a brush so to line your hair up as well as detangle it you want to start using a comb like I said when my hair is usually the length of a 2.5 with the grain that's when I use the wide tooth comb and every week after that I transition it up so for the first week I'll use the wide tooth comb the next week I use the wide tooth comb and if I see that my hair is thicker I'll go with the teaser portion. If I feel that this isn't really pulling my hair, I'll just stick with the wide tooth portion. Following that second week, 
Then I'll, I know my hair is long enough because it grows pretty fast. I start using the teaser portion. Now when I, when I get into like the third or fourth week of my woof, more so the, the fourth week of my woof, I start using this bad boy. And the reason why is because this, this comb has amazing pull. So when you want to train your hair, a lot of people tend to think that when you fix connections, what you need to do is cut very low. But sometimes when you're woofing and you're using a comb, this will help you line your connections up no matter what stage your waves are. You know, so that that's more so a myth that you have to cut low in order to train your connections up because if you're using a comb the right way then you can use a comb while you're woofing and still make progress still better your connections you know so i'm gonna basically go into a combing session for you guys and show y'all how i comb and it kind of explain a little bit further all right so every time i comb what i typically do is take the wide tooth portion comb of the of the comb and then i just comb it through my pattern you know so one little disclaimer i want to give to you guys I know I told you it's woofing season. It's like the winter, fall time, or whatever the case is. So if y'all see some snow falling on my hair, man, <laughs> just know it's only because uh, sometimes when I'm woofing, when I want to get products to switch my products out during my woof, I let my hair dry out, you know? So I just want to get that little disclaimer just to let y'all know. So like I said, I use the wide tooth comb within like the first week. Once I get to like week two or week three, I start to use the teaser portion of the comb. Is when I'm combing, the angle that I comb, I'm not combing my hair like at this angle, you know? So basically I'm not combing at this angle down or whatever the case is. I always take my comb and have it at a slight angle, something like this. You know, so when I'm combing my hair, it allows it to get to the, the roots. When you comb your hair with more of an angle, the teeth will press into your scalp. You know, so you really don't want to do that, especially when you start using a comb like this. When you use a comb like this, this will teach you. It's kind of like when they say, if you want to learn how to shave, you take a razor, put some shaving cream on a balloon. And as long as you can shave the uh, raisin cream off the balloon, then you're at the perfect angle to use a blade. It's the same thing with a comb like this. When you are using this comb, you want to make sure is slightly parallel with your head and going in the same direction as your angles because if you're not if you have it like this and you start trying to comb you will hurt yourself when i start using this comb is more so like i mentioned third weeks and out once i'm woofing you know so once i get into like the third week of my wolf i really want to pull my hair in the, in the direction that i want it to go in i start using this bad boy So as you can see, I basically comb my hair out. You can usually tell when it's a good time to comb is because after you comb, your hair looks like a little fro. When I'm combing my hair and I can I see that it's not really lifting up, you know, like there's not a lot of hair lifting up, it's probably not a good time to comb, you know. So after I get done combing, I'll take a medium hard brush and simply brush my hair down. Now I like combing before I brush because not only does it detangle my hair, but it stretches my curls out. So therefore, when I take my medium hard brush and I start brushing my hair, it's easy easier for it to lay down and the definition comes out even crazier you know so when you're woofing woofing it's all about creating depth but at the same time when you start using a comb this helps you build your connections you know so don't sleep on a comb man a lot of people really don't talk about using a comb when it comes to waving but that's one of my favorite things to use alongside a medium hard brush but yeah man it's woofing season i encourage you guys to woof with me it's like working out i always use working out as an example the winter times is considered bulking season this is the time where you want to put up as much weight or fat or whatever the case is on your body and then when the summertime comes you shred all of that off during wolfing season you want to grow your hair out as thick and as long as possible because it's a lot easier to manage only because of the cold weather now if you live in a place like the uh, bahamas or whatever the case is where it really doesn't get cold i don't know what to tell you but 
like I said, it's wolfing season. Join your boy J. Lou. I don't want to keep talking. I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for taking the time out of your day to share with me. I hope this video provided you with some information that you can use during this wolfing season to be able to maximize your waves. I know a lot of people, if you're like me, you want to have the best wave possible. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and I'm going to make sure I get to them as soon as possible. But it's your boy J. Lou. I'm about to sign out. Hope y'all have a good day. And salute.